So this is the dashboard of WooCommerce and this is my e-commerce store and as a dummy user I have already placed an order here you can notice the order details basically the name of the customer is demo customer and the status of this order is processing now as an admin of this store I am going to cancel this order and as soon as I do that you will notice an order cancellation email will be received on my Gmail account automatically but to automate this whole process firstly I will have to build an integration in WooCommerce and Gmail application which I am going to do with the help of Pabli Connect which is an amazing integration and automation software. I am an existing user of Pabli Connect so I am already logged in. You can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just 2 minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. Now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have directly pasted the name as send woocommerce order cancellation email to customers okay and now i will select the folder in which i would like to create my automation workflow okay now simply clicking on create and after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger and action okay and here the trigger means when this happens and action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application okay so this is how you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case i want that whenever any new order is cancelled in my woocommerce application then automatically send an order cancellation email on gmail application okay so let me select both the application one by one in the trigger and the action window all right i have done this now the idea here is firstly i will connect to woocommerce with pabli connect and will capture the order cancellation details here then i will connect pabli connect will g with gmail and will send the order cancellation email okay so in this way my automation will execute it okay so let us connect to woocommerce with pabli connect now firstly i will select the trigger event that is order updated yes whenever the status of the order is updated okay basically from processing to cancel this automation should trigger okay so i have selected the same now i am going to copy this webhook url which pabli connect has provided me along with the set of instructions okay so with the help of this url only we are going to build this connection and again the instructions for the same are already given you will have to read these instructions carefully okay so so simply copy this webhook url go back to your woocommerce dashboard click on the settings option then find the advanced option here all right after that you'll have to click on this webhook option and then finally we are going to add a new webhook all right so this is the button of adding a webhook okay so clicking on that and firstly i will paste my webhook url which i have actually got from pabli connect in this delivery url field okay so give me a second let me paste the same here and now i will provide some random name to my webhook something like connection with pabli okay and after that i will change the status from disabled to active and finally i'll select the topic as order updated okay so whatever the trigger event you have selected you will have to choose the same topic here all right and now finally i'm clicking on the save webhook button and in this way this webhook url will be saved successfully and that means the connection in woocommerce and pabli connect is also done okay so coming back to the dashboard and here you can notice the response is also received now i am going to click on this button once again and uh, first of all you should read the instructions now log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means cancellation of an order in our woocommerce store okay so yes i am going to perform the same okay so this is the order section of woocommerce i am going to open this recent order and in front of you i will cancel this order okay so here you can notice the status setting okay currently it is into the processing and now finally i will cancel it okay so where is the update button all right so updating this status and as soon as it is done i will wait for the response to be received here all right fingers crossed 
and here you can notice the response is received let me even show you that order is also cancelled here okay give me a second and here you can notice the status is cancelled okay so coming back to the dashboard of Pabli Connect and now I'll show you the details one by one so here give me a second here clearly you can notice the status of this order is cancelled the amount of this order was thousand rupees here we have the method as free shipping here we also have the very same product name that is white round neck t-shirt okay let me show you the same whether it is the same order or not whether this order is all about the white round neck t-shirt or not and yes the same product title and the same pricing okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between WooCommerce and Pabli Connect is working absolutely fine. Okay, so now onwards, what will happen? Every time someone or the admin of the store will cancel any order, the detail of that order will be captured via Pabli Connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. Okay, so in this way, the first step of our automation is done. And here I'm about to show you the Gmail ID of the person okay because my use case is to send the emails okay so that is why the email id is really important okay so give me a second and yes we also have the email id of the customer okay so in this way the first step of our automation is done now moving further i'm going to compose an email and send an order cancellation email okay so here you can notice the application is already selected now i will select the action event as send email now just like we have built a connection in WooCommerce and Pabli Connect. Now I am going to build a connection in Gmail and Pabli Connect. Okay, so clicking on connect, then clicking on add a new connection. If you are a new user, you will have to provide the access of your Gmail account. But because I have connected my Gmail account multiple times, okay, so I am going to reuse those existing connection. Clicking on save, and this is how my Gmail account will be immediately connected with the Pabli Connect. Okay, so here you can notice it is connected and now it is asking lot of details which are actually required for sending an email okay so firstly it is asking the recipient email address okay so here i want to send an email to the very same customer whose order has been cancelled just now okay so from where i'm going to provide these details remember we have already captured the customer details and the interesting thing here is i am not going to manually copy these details and paste below again and again okay i am going to map this data and mapping is very simple when you will click on this field you will find the above data here in the drop down okay so i will search for the email address directly and this is the email address of the recipient okay asking for the cc bcc well i am going to leave these fields blank asking for the sender name so how about i provide some random name something like pabli team asking for the email subject line okay so i have already prepared a basic subject line okay so how about i directly copy this subject line from the notepad okay and i am going to paste the same here and in place of this customer name i want that the name of the customer should appear here automatically basically the name of that customer whose order has been already cancelled okay so let me search for the name of the customer well as far as i remember the first name was demo okay so i have mapped this value also now i will give a space and will search for the second name also which was customer okay so again whatever the values i am mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time or in next time but whatever the details we are providing here manually will remain same okay so this is the difference in providing the values via mapping and via manually okay and in this way this automation is going to take place basically mapping plays a major role inside this automation okay now it is asking for the email content type well if you want to send a basic email you can actually go with the plain but if you want to send an email along with the formatting like the bold and italic or a lot of things then in that case I would recommend you to select HTML okay so I think you can easily send the plain email so how about I also show you how to send email along with the formatting okay so this is the place where we are going to compose our email so again I have also prepared my email so how about I directly copy this email and paste in this section and first of all I am going to correct the formatting of my 
my email okay give me a second let me correct the formatting and then i'll show you everything step by step okay so this is my email okay uh, hello abc well in place of abc again the name of my customer will appear so again i am going to map the name of the customer which was again demo giving a space and now i will also map the last name of the customer okay so again these details will replace automatically your order of abc product so again in place of abc i want that the name of the product should appear here automatically so let me search for the name of the product which was a white round neck t-shirt okay so give me a second all right so here we have the line item name line item zero name that is white round neck t-shirt okay your order of white round neck t-shirt okay now i can remove this product okay with the order id so i also want that the id of that order should be added so again i will search for the id of that order okay so give me a second where is the order id all right so this is our order id which again i have mapped worth rupees and again i want that the price of that product should also appear here automatically so again let me search for the line item price okay so in this way i have composed a very interesting email an order cancellation email that is hello demo customer your order of white round neck t-shirt with order id this worth rupees 1000 has been cancelled for any queries call us at this or email at this thanks pabli team okay now if you want to bold this particular content okay so what you will have to do you will have to copy the content and then you will have to visit this particular documentation link okay well this is the documentation link and this is actually an online instant html editor okay so i am going to paste the very same content here okay so give me a second all right so this is the ed editor i am going to paste the same and from here i am going to copy this coding and then i will paste the same coding here all right so i hope everything is fine all right so how about i try to click on this button save and send test request and then i'll have to check whether the email is arrived or not all right so it is saying that the email has been sent going back to my gmail account and let us wait for the very same email okay so give me a second Alright, so the email is arrived with the same subject line. Did you notice how the name of the customer appeared here? Dear uh, demo customer, your order has been cancelled. Hello demo customer, your order of white round net t-shirt with order ID. This worth rupees this has been cancelled for any queries. Call us at this, this, this. Thanks, Pabli team. Okay, so the email is arrived successfully, but the problem is the formatting is not there. So I'll have to check what is wrong with my formatting. Okay, so how about I firstly delete this whole formatting and now i am going to paste this email once again okay so give me a second let me correct the formatting and then i'll come back all right so i have corrected the formatting now i am going to cut and paste it here and i think i forgot to do the formatting here okay so let me first correct the formatting let me actually make it bold make the content bold okay so i have bold this product name let me also bold this order id let me also bold this price all right i hope this is sufficient now again i am going to copy this code and pasting it here and now finally i am going to remap my my content okay so after hello i want the name of my customer okay so i will map the name giving a space and will map the last name okay and after that i also want this order id should be replaced okay so again give me a second let me once again map the order id here all right so i have mapped it successfully lastly i also want that the name of the product should appear here so again i will search for the line item zero name okay i remember the name of the product was white round neck t-shirt okay so i think i have mapped all the important details successfully no this price is also left which was of thousand rupees okay i'm really sorry that i'm showing you everything once again okay but in this way you will be able to understand everything in depth okay so now i will click on this button once again and wait for that email to be arrived and this time i am really expecting that my email will consist of all the formatting 
and here you can notice the formatting is there all right so in this way you can actually automate the process of sending the order cancellation email to your customers automatically okay and here you must be thinking why the spaces are not there well because i have copy and pasted the spaces okay i think i should give the space intentionally here okay in that case only it will take that formatting of extra spaces or enter okay so this is a tip from my side i hope you will learn it you have already learned it okay and in this way by creating this workflow inside pabli connect just once you can automate this whole process well here i have forgot to tell you one more very important thing whenever you create this workflow this automation make sure that you also apply a filter within these two steps now why i am asking you to apply this filter because sometimes it happens that the responses received is actually of the order placement not of the order cancellation okay and in that case also the email can be sent of order cancellation okay so we will have to make sure that whenever the status is actually equal to cancelled in that case only the messages the email should be sent otherwise this automation should stop here only okay so how you can do that basically we are going to apply the condition on this status okay so give me a second i'll show you everything here you'll have to search for the filter which is an amazing feature of pabli connect via which you can apply different kind of conditions within your workflow within your automation and in this select label first of all i will search for the status all right give me a second in where is the status all right so this is the status and if that status is equal to cancelled in that case only this automation should proceed basically whenever this condition is true the cancellation condition is true then only our automation should proceed should execute further step otherwise my automation will stop here only let's say the value is different in that case our condition will be stop and in this way our automation will stop here only now let me once again correct the uh, spelling all right clicking on this button once again so that the condition will be true here so i have forgot to tell you this thing make sure that you also add this filter step in order to make sure that the emails are getting sent only on the order cancellation not on the order placement or any or on any status okay so i hope you have understood everything just in case if you want to access this three step workflow inside your own pabli connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box so simply click on this link and sign up for free into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pabli connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formgate.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to auto made their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video